these are the tools that you're gonna need. So I would suggest about four to five uh, duckbill clips. You're also gonna wanna have your blow dryer ready to go. We're using the Gamma Professional uh, sectioning comb. A round brush, we're using an inch and a half round brush. We're using the Evo one. And then I'm also gonna detangle my hair with a wet brush. I'm starting with the detangler. We're using the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. It's also a heat protector. I want to detangle everything before I start. So I'm going in with my wet brush. Your hair is really the most fragile when it's wet. So using a proper brush to detangle will really help with any breakage. That. And we're going to go in root to end with the Living Proof Full Root Lifter. So I really like to make sure that it's in my roots, but also sprayed down to my ends. It's just going to help with a little bit of hold. So when I'm putting the product in, I kind of section my hair just to make sure that I'm getting it everywhere. the roots and then I go and I make sure that I get my ends. Same thing in the back. Don't worry about how we're anything sectioned at this point. We're just going to go through and remove the water and we want to do that till it's about 80% dry. thing we're gonna do is sectioning. So I find this to be the key to making sure everything is going to be organized. I'm gonna take on both sides of my part. And the way that I kind of measure is I don't want it to be wider than my round brush. If you part on the side, then you're gonna move this over slightly. So you want where your part is to be in the middle of where your round brush is gonna be. Okay, and then we're gonna do the sides. split the back of my hair in two so just directly horizontally across the back we're gonna go in and start blow drying our first section so I'm gonna work on doing the sides first and then we're gonna go in through the top so this section I'm gonna split it in half just so I have a little bit more control I always want to make sure that I'm not taking anything that's going to be larger than the width of my brush. So you want the hair to stay in the middle of the brush. So you want to have a little bit of space on each side of your round brush. And you also want to make sure that you're not taking anything that's larger than the circumference of the front of the round brush either. So just like that. So placing the round brush right at the root and we're going to move down. Okay, we're going to do that a few times just to smooth. Okay, once we've done that a few times, we're going to go in and we're going to smooth till we're almost at the ends, and then we're going to roll the hair up to the root. Okay, your hair at this point will need to be mostly dry, so you want to make sure the root is very dry. And that you're going to hold hot air on the top and the bottom 
for about 20 seconds. Once you've done that, you can either blast it with cool air from your blow dryer, or you can hold for about 20 to 30 seconds on each section. And then once you're done, you're gonna slowly release, okay? So I'm gonna do that. let it cool for it to set and then you want to remove it from your brush so if you need to grab that with your hand you can so now you can leave it like this which is totally fine if you want more of just the ends if you want a little bit more curl then we're gonna set it so we're gonna wrap that and then we're gonna go in with one of our duck bill clips and just clip that across okay that's gonna give you a little bit more curl and a little bit more volume so we're going to continue. I'm just going to show the technique that I'm using to grab the hair. So we're going in and then when we're getting to the ends, I'm just grabbing the hair. Okay. And then I'm putting it back on the brush and then I'm going in and drying again. It's just helping me get more grip on the hair and make sure that the root is nice and dry before I start working in through the ends. So we want the hair to be in front so that it goes away from our face. So we're gonna work through the same way. We're just gonna keep blow drying the root and working through to our ends. Keeping that blow dryer right against the hair, it's gonna help us smooth it. And you want your blow dryer to be hot. You want it to be on the hottest setting that you have. lift these up a bit and out of your way. I like to split the back just in half. So this is just the bottom part. I still have this piece here. Okay, but so far we've basically done one, two, three, four sections. That's it. We're gonna do two here and probably about two or three here. to give it a nice mess 
And then I like to let it sit if I have time for about 10 more minutes. This is a good time if you wanna get dressed or do your makeup, you can leave your sections in. And what I love about clipping it up, it takes a little bit of extra time, but it is gonna help give you extra shine and bounce. Okay, so we're gonna leave that in for about 10 minutes. Take them out. You wanna release them in the same order that you did them. Okay, so. a good time to do another mess. Again, let it dry before you start combing through with your fingers. Just give the hairspray a minute. Whew. She got some volume. I like to go through with my hands and break everything up. If you want to break it up even further, a great thing to use is your wet brush. There you go. That's the lineage blowout.